What's up guys, back at it again. A little bit of a different video coming at you today. A change from the informative content. Just wanted to do a walkthrough of the Gifted Performance website because with all the additions that we've made to the one-on-one -on -one coaching team and all the transformations we've been posting and things like that, a lot of people have actually forgotten that we have an automated coaching service as well. Access to our training programs, nutrition, uh, macronutrient calculations, things like that. So what I'm going to do for you today is just actually walk you through the entire Gifted Performance website. So it, I've got it pulled up here for you. If you go to giftedperformance.com, you will find our website here. So you can kind of scroll down. Links out to all of our um Social media are down here, Instagram, the Facebook group. You definitely, if you are a member of the website, you definitely do want to join the Facebook group. A lot of good stuff being posted in there from the members, um, help, technique videos, things like that. And then our YouTube as well, if you want to go watch our uh, some of the videos that we post over there. And then if you have any questions for us, you can always email us down here. But let's get into the actual website itself. So if we scroll down here, we've got a little bit of our mission statement here. How did Gifted Performance get started? Uh, what are we all about? What do we offer? And then it, down here you can see, you can subscribe, subscribe as a member. It is a $30 a month charge, but you will always get this two week free trial period. So you'll always get that two week free trial period. We wanna give you guys 14 days to try out some of the programs, try out the macronutrient calculating, try out the weight logging and all of that to see if it's actually helpful for you, if it's something that you're gonna use. And then if at any point during that two week trial period, you feel like it's not for you, you're just not using it as much as you would like, you can cancel it anytime and you will not be charged. So again, like I mentioned down here is all our social media. All right, so let's get into some of the other stuff here. So our one-on-one -on -one coaches, we do have our coaches tab up here. So if you want to meet any of our one-on-one -on -one coaches, come here. You can see myself here, Ryan Zysoft, head coach, the squad father. And then you can get into kind of some of the specialties of what of what the people do, where they've been, who they've worked with, what their qualifications are. So you can see on mine, um, I work with a lot of our weightlifters. I do a lot of our nutrition stuff. Spencer also works with weightlifters. We've got good old Paul, our bodybuilder. Um, Hector, who's really our kind of like our biomed guy, our super smart, our, our, our head nerd in charge. You can scroll down and see some of the other coaches that we got as well. Thomas, who handles all our powerlifters and our CrossFit. Mike, who's also one of our powerlifting coaches. Anthony, another bodybuilding coach. Cameron, um, cranking out a lot of good bodybuilders as well. Super, super smart guy when it comes to nutrition. And then down at the bottom, we've got both Kyle and Maria. Maria being one of our doctors of physical therapy. And then Mike Taylor as well. So if you want to work with one of these coaches, come here, read through their bio, see which one fits best with your goals. And then later on, I'll show you how you can actually apply to work with one of our one-on-one -on -one coaches. So that is the coaches page right there. I'm going to scroll here. We go over to the testimonials tab. That actually links out to our Instagram page. So you can scroll through here and kind of see some of the transformations that we've got, some of our lifting videos from some of our power lifters. So make sure you check out Gifted Performance on Instagram. Give us a follow, all that fun stuff. Um, the blog is cool. So our, our, our WordPress, we've got some articles from Paul, some articles from myself, some articles from... Um, from Hector. This is where if you're more into kind of the written word content, this is where you want to come. If you're more into the videos, just head on over to the YouTube instead. Up next, we've got our storefront. So the storefront is here where you can buy all your gifted performance apparel. We do take, um, we do take requests, so if you want like a certain kind of tank top or a certain kind of shirt, just let us know and we can make it happen. So we just added sweatshirts. We've got our physique templates here, so general fitness, bodybuilding, men's physique, figure, wellness. We've got plain gifted performance, squat child t-shirts, our famous drop weights and yell t-shirt, squat tart, Scott Girth. So come through here, buy some shirts. They're, 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 I think they're pretty funny because I designed them. Everything that I do is funny. Um, but yeah, that's where you can find all gifted performance merchandise there. So come and support the brand. Uh, what else? What do you got next? We've got the store. All right, cool. So let's go in through actually signing up and creating an account here. So I'm going to create an account. It's pretty simple, completely free of charge. I'm going to create a new account here, uh, squatdad at gmail.com, create a password. Create that password again. I'm probably gonna mess this up. Register, you're good to go. Don't worry about that for now. Don't wanna log into my old account. 
We're going to use that one in a second. Oops. Should probably type that in, right? And boom. Now we are going to log in. All right. Now you're going to get your agreement and your release of liability that basically just says, hey, if I break myself doing one of your programs, it's not your fault. Also, no refunds. You want to come in here and you want to sign a little e-signature, save and continue. Now you can come in here and you can set up your account. So this is what you're going to see when you first log in is this login page. You want to, I won't do all this now because it'll take forever, but you want to go through, fill out your name, your date of birth, your Instagram handle so we can track you down, give you a follow shoot you a dm say hey thanks for signing up thanks for supporting male female what do you prefer in terms of pounds and kilos um what would you prefer to lift in now when you do want to sign up for the 30 dollars a month uh you want to get access to the training programs the macronutrient calculations and all that what you want to hit is this button right here you want to hit subscribe blah 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 no refunds so when you do hit subscribe, you're gonna get this right here. So this is gonna pop up. And this does say pay $30, but it's not paying $30 when you click this button. It's signing up for the 14 day free trial. So you're gonna get your 14 day trial. You can cancel at any time that you really want. When you wanna cancel, a cancel button will pop up right down here. So after you've signed up down here in this section, you'll have a cancel button that you can hit. I'll show you on my other account where I've got it all signed up. Now, if you don't want to do the um, the thirty dollars a month, you don't want to do the automated service. You want a better, or not necessarily a better, but a, a more personalized one-on-one -on -one approach. Then you're going to scroll up here. You're going to click this button right here. This button that says custom training. Now, when I click custom training, I'm going to get the one-on-one -on -one training application. I'm going to fill out my name, or it's going to be filled out before me because it's going to populate it from your profile. Then you're going to click the coach that you want to work with. Who do you want to work with? So you can pick any of the available coaches here. Let's just say I'm gonna work with myself. And then you're just gonna fill this out with as much detail as possible. Please fill this out with as much detail as possible. If you do wanna go the one-on-one -on -one coaching route, it does our coaches a huge favor when they have as much information about you as they possibly can. Your training category, what are you looking for? Olympic weightlifting, is it powerlifting? Is it a return to play consultation? Do you wanna sit and talk with one of our DPTs? Is it posing? What is it? Um, here in our meal plan or your meal program diet meal program make sure that you're attaching files here of what your current food logs look like food allergy tests and pictures down here pictures of your current physique um, some of our coaches <coughs> cam camera cheek are very very specific about having pictures so make sure that you're choosing all these files when you are done, you're going to click this button, submit application. What happens when you click that button, submit application, is that whoever the coach is that you want to work with is going to get an email and it's going to have all your information in it. And they're going to have the choice of either approving or denying your application based off what they find inside. So if they approve it, you're going to get an email back either from the coach or from the Gifted Performance website itself that says, hey, your application has been approved. You'll have the coach reach out to you within 24 to 48 hours to process payment set up your program and everything that comes with that. So if you are going the one-on-one -on -one coaching route, this is the application that you're gonna to have to fill out. This is the route that you're gonna to have to go. If you just want the $30 a month, you want access to the training programs, the nutrition and all that, then you wanna just go back to my profile and set that up here. I'm actually gonna show you what that looks like over here on my other profile where I have that subscribe. All right, so let's log into this account here. This account is what your profile is going to look like when it's filled out, when you've signed up for the $30 a month and you're all good to go there. So you can see I've filled out all my information on my profile here. I've got monthly training. I'm signed up for monthly training. Here's your cancel membership button. And now here's what you're going to do from here. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by choosing your training program. So I've already got the power building training program selected because that was the program that I was doing at the time when I was using um, the website for my power building training. But you can choose from any of these. If you're a power lifter, choose one of our four power lifting programs. If you're a weight lifter, choose one of our super total programs. Interested in bodybuilding or hypertrophy training, choose one of these. If you're more of a beginner and you just want a really easy, kind of like a, a, a simpler program that'll ease you into training, choose one of these beginner programs up here based on your schedule. Do you have three days to lift? Do you have five days to lift? 
So choose the corresponding program. So let's just stick with power building for now. Actually, I do want to show you something. When you do click a different program and you click switch program, it's going to give you this message right here. So whenever you switch from one program to another, because we don't want you switching programs and going from week seven of power building to week nine of a power lifting program, the program is automatically going to reset you back at day one. It's always going to reset you back at day one. So if you do want to switch programs, Make sure that you really want to switch programs because it's going to reset you on day one and you're not going to be able to go back to wherever you were on the previous program. So let's not do that for now. Let's just stick with the power building program. So when I want to look at my program, when I want to look at what does my program look like for the day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up here. I'm going to click my dashboard. So you're going to have your own personal dashboard and click dashboard. And there's your training. So this is day one of the power building program. I've got bench press, I've got overhead press, some incline dumbbell press, and some work. And then you can kind of type in your weights here. You type in your weights, you're gonna click this button here, click save workout, and then you can kind of reference back to see what you did. But all of your weights are gonna be pop populated for you. How did it do that? It did that because before you start a training program, you're gonna to have to come in here, and you're gonna to have to log your PRs. So what's your best squat? What's your best bench? your best deadlift. So you're going to have to work with all the way through all of these lifts. Just type in what your best one is. Click save PR. Go back to your dashboard and you'll find that all your weights are programmed for you. For exercises where we don't have you max out, we don't have a one RM, we're going to use the RPE system. So you're just going to log a weight that allows you to hit an RPE of seven or three repetitions in reserve. So make sure you stick with those RPEs, those RIRs. Make sure you read the notes as well. You're gonna have a lot of um, notes to follow there of how exactly we want you to do these exercises. All right, so that's your power building program. And that's pretty much the program side of this thing. Now, if I do really want to try change my program around, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my profile. I'm gonna say, all right, I wanna switch programs. Power building is fun and all, but I think that I wanna be a weightlifter. So I'm gonna switch over to the Olympic weightlifting super total program. I click switch program gonna say oh no are you sure you want to do that say yes I am sure that I would like to do that click OK now when I go back to my dashboard I've got a completely different workout waiting for me here <clears throat> so I've got day one I got snatch snatch pull squat and all that all right now now that we've kind of walked through the training side of things let's look at the nutrition side of things as well you can see that mine's already populated because I've been messing around with this profile a lot but when we go into the nutrition side of things, let's say I want to calculate new nutrition. I chose an aggressive cutting plan. So when I calculate new nutrition, you've got two methods of calculating your basal metabolic rate, activity level or body composition. So I'm going to choose the activity level. If you know your body fat pretty accurately, you can use the body composition method. But if you don't know your body composition, and I'm talking about like really, really close, like I know for a fact that I'm 12% body fat, just go with the activity level method instead. So when I click that, you're going to get this that pops up. So body weight, 205, activity level multiplier. What the hell is an activity level multiplier? I don't know what that means. Click this little button right here and it'll tell you what each one is so what's sedentary what's moderate activity what's high activity okay so i have a low activity work i work from home i work a desk job but i do have my three to six workouts per week so i'm going to give myself moderate activity my average daily step count let's say i get uh 10 000 steps a day um don't enter commas here that'll break it so no commas I'm going to know if I get messages from you guys, it's like my nutrition track tracker is broken. Like you entered commas. I know it. So 10,000 without commas. Am I doing any cardio? Nope. Currently not doing any weekly cat cardio. So don't have to worry about that. And boom, there's my estimated BMR is 2684. Now I want to go to the next page because I've got some more options to choose. I can choose a maintenance plan that will have me maintain my current weight, a massing or a cutting. Let's say I would like to cut. Say I want to lose some body fat. Then it's going to give you the option to choose the intensity of your plan. So do you want to cut conservatively, moderately, or aggressively? Whether you're cutting or massing, we at Gifted Performance encourage you to start with a conservative or a moderate plan and work your way up to aggressive, then start at aggressive and have nowhere to go from there. So I'm going to start with a conservative cutting plan. And now I've got one more option to choose from, and that's your macronutrient ratio. This is where you can kind of choose what your actual preference of macronutrients is. Do I prefer to diet on higher carbohydrate, lower fat, higher fat, lower carbohydrate, or do I like to be somewhere in the middle? 
I'm someone who likes to diet on lower fat, higher carbohydrates, so I'm going to choose the higher carb option. And then it's going to populate your macros right there. So you've got your calories, your protein, your carbohydrates, and your fats. And this is what's going to translate over to the meal planning option that we're going to look at in a second. But what I can do is kind of show you how this changes around. So if I were to choose a high fat, aggressive plan, you can see it changes the car or it changes the calories and it changes the macros. So we're going to stick with this conservative high carb approach. You're going to click save macros and boom. Now you're going to have macros for your training days, your, your very active days and your non-training days, you're less active. You'll have calories, protein, carbs, fat, and fiber to hit. Now, how many meals a day do I wanna eat? This is what's gonna be used in your meal planning feature, so you definitely wanna populate this here. I'm someone who likes four meals a day, if you like five meals a day, six meals a day, those are also options. Two meals a day is on there as well. So I'm gonna choose four meals a day, and now I'm gonna go back to my dashboard. And on my dashboard, what you're going to notice is you've got a nutrition tab. Boom. That'll show me my macros and my preferred number of meals per day. I've got a check-in feature where I can enter my body weight. So if you want to enter your body weight daily, weekly, whatever it may be, this is going to track your body weight, enter the date and save it. And you can see how your body weight tracks over time. And then the final feature here is this meal builder. So within the meal builder, <clears throat> what you're going to see down here is meal breakdowns in terms of the macros that you should be shooting for per meal based on your total macros and based on the preferred number of meals a day that you chose. If the macros per meal are too high for you, then simply go back to your profile, choose a higher number of meals per day. And what you'll notice is now because you're eating more meals, you're going to have less macros per meal. So these numbers will actually get smaller, but let's just stick with these for now. Okay. So Let's say I'm going to build out my breakfast here. What you've got here in this top drop down is protein options, carbohydrate options, and fat options. So my breakfast, I'm going to have fat-free cottage cheese as my carbohydrate or as my protein. You don't have to choose a carbohydrate or a fat or a protein for each meal if you want to build in some snacks. Um, but I'm going to do each one for this meal, uh, with my cottage cheese. What do you think? What should I have? So throw some fruit in there. We'll throw some, throw some blueberries in there. And then I have to hit my fat goal. So I'm going to throw some almond butter on top. Now, what you'll notice is that down here at the bottom, if I scroll and move my big head is that with these options up here, I've now got these macro goals have adjusted. So I know that I'm under on my protein. I'm under on my carbs. And I'm pretty close on my fat, a little bit over, could use a little bit more fiber. So let's go up here and we'll adjust these here. So quantity, and you'll notice that as I, boom, as I move it up to a cup and a quarter, the protein goes up, cup and a half, and I'm right there. Now let's change these carbs. Increase the blueberries up to 300 grams of blueberries, and boom, there we go. I've not only hit my fiber now, but I've also got my carbs where they need to be. Fat, we'll call it close enough. What am I gonna name this meal? I'm gonna name this meal breakfast. I'm gonna add it to my plan. Now, when you've entered all your meals, let's say you've entered all of your four or your five meals or whatever it is, I won't do that for the sake of time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click view plan. Now, once you click view plan, what you can do here is you can screenshot this, you can take a picture of it, or you can highlight it, copy and paste it into a Word document, and what you've essentially done here is built yourself out a meal plan based off of the macros. So we aren't allowed to write you a meal plan because we aren't registered dietitians and we follow the law, unlike some people, but we will give you the macros and the tools to build out your own meal plan. So enjoy this feature right here. Um, outside of that, those are essentially all the features that we've got here. Um, we encourage you guys to get on here, play around, enjoy that 14 day free trial. If you love it, stick around. If you just want to support what we do at Gifted Performance, stick around. We really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to keep this one as short and as sweet as possible. Uh, sign up on the website, subscribe to our YouTube subscriptions over there. Really help us out. Like the videos, view the videos, comment. Um, what would you like to see next? Um, Follow us on Instagram. If you are a member of the website or you're signing up, you're in your 14 day trial, it doesn't even matter. Make sure you go on Facebook and you request to join the Gift of Performance Facebook group. Be active in there.
And that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a member. And thank you for supporting Gifted Performance. I'm going to see you on the next one. But until then, stay gifted.